Okay, so we're going to work with exercise five in students book page 20. Negative prefixes, we're going to work with the prefix un and in. We have in the box, we use on, I'm sorry, im, the I am, the prefix I am, changes to im before we're starting with m. Okay, what we have, we have on and in, but when you have a word that starts with m, like moral, the N changes to a M, so it would be immoral. Only the case the word starts with an M, like in this one. We change it. We put, instead of I N, we put I M. Think of another one. coming in. So when the word starts with um with M like immoral we use we change I N to im immoral we put I am. This, why is it negative? The positive would be moral, negative is immoral. It's to change the word the, from positive to negative. Patient is a positive word. A negative word would be impatient. We use it when we have a P, we also put the word we use I am, not I n. Impatient. Estamos cambiando las palabras. Sorry. From the positivos a negativos, adjetivos positivos a negativos. Con los prefijos, prefixes. Okay. En el caso de, cambia de, tenemos los prefijos UN y N. En el, cam, en, un, en el caso, estamos en unos casos particulares, en el caso de que la palabra empiece con M, con P, con, o sea, varios, varios casos que vamos a ver así, eh, creo que no hay ningún otro más así. Este, son los momentos que en vez de IN cambia a M. Entonces está cambiando de positivo a negativo. Estamos en el ejercicio 6, la página 20. Pueden ir de esta manera, aquí como en M. Ok. Cambia esto a IM. Patient a impatient. Veremos más palabras después. ¿Cómo elimino eso? No sé. Ok. So let's continue. Mm -hmm. So continuing with this one. When the word starts with um, I, uh, with when you have the prefix IL, we'll use, use of IL. We use IL for words that begin with L, okay? Like in illegal, 
legal changes to illegal. Logical, illogical. With words that begin with, now we're going to see IR. Words that begin with R, like responsible. Responsible. Will be irresponsible. Um, relevant. Irrelevant. Okay, so words basically that starts with R, we use it. The, this is the case is that the IN changes to IM, it changes to IM, or changes to IL, or changes to IR. Only when you have an M or a P, it changes to IM. Only when you have L, la palabra empieza con L, you change it to IL. And when it starts with an R, you change it to IR. In all the other cases, all the rest, we use IN, for example. Incapable, from the word capable to incapable. Okay. Oh, great. Um, convenience. Some words you have them there, others no. Um, Inconvenient. So we change it from positive. What does the, the prefix does? Change the word from being positive to be a negative. That's what we use them for. Okay. These are these examples. Let me see how I can pull this up so we can fit in the ones with UN. All right, it's the next side of the board. The right side of the board. Okay, so on this side, we saw the use of the, the IN, IN, IL, IR, and the use of how, sorry, how the IN changes to IM. Then we saw IL, how it 
um, the use of IL. Not always, you will see that it's not always with L. It's words you have to learn. IR, the use of IR, and the rest that we use with IN, what we really use with IN, incapable, inconvenient. We'll find other words. Now we're going to see the words, the use of UN, UN. The sound is UN. So, sounds UN. So we have words as aware, changes to unaware, uh, aware. Um, Usual changes to unusual. Uh, likely, this one is a, a tricky one. It's unlikely. Fair changes to on. Fair. There is not a, a, a rule as such that you can follow to know when they change, when they use in, I, R. Some you may, but not most of them. It's, you have these situations. For example, you use U, N, as you can see, when it has, it starts with a vowel. It starts with a A, a U, unaware unusual, um, unaccurate. There's a lot of words that you can look them up. But it's for you to know that we use the prefixes. It's not maybe the negative prefixes. What they do, they change the word to a negative. It's to, from positive to negative. The thing is that we're going to work with certain words for the following sentence. And um, the, the idea is for you to understand what is the word and in which sentence it would be the correct use. So this is just to introduce you to the prefixes, on and in. And we're going to continue with the exercise in a moment. So we have these words, you have to complete you have to use these words to complete the sentences in exercise seven. The first sentence is like this. Max's mom think it's to skip breakfast. Ma, ma, unhealthy, unhealthy. Exactly, unhealthy, good, unhealthy. So the first one, number one is unhealthy. Good. And we go with the second one. Let's read the second sentence. The second sentence says, Lucy think Max of being on time. Of being on time is to be, since it's the negative thing of being on time, so he's not on time. So he is Si no estás a tiempo es, of these words, uh, well, of being on time, he's, um, we would use, could be irresponsible, or it could be incapable, incapable, o sea, que estuviera no fuese capaz de estar al tiempo. Incapable. Vamos a ver. Yo pondría incapable porque vamos a ver cómo resuelven las cosas. Um, Lucy doesn't get angry with Matt because she isn't. Uh -huh. She doesn't get angry with Matt because she isn't. Uh, 
-hmm. Okay. She, she isn't impatient. No está, no está impaciente. She's not impatient. She's not angry. He's maybe he's late. He's incapable of being on time, but she's not um, impatient. Okay, the passenger says she's unlikely to get to her meeting on time. There is some delay in the train the, 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 where they're going. So the passenger says it's unlikely for her to be on time. Unlikely means um, translated would be like, uh, I would say, no pudiera estar a tiempo. We'll find some somewhere. So the passenger says says she's unlikely to get to her meeting on time. Matt think his teachers means his teachers. That means teacher is unfair for never believing him. Okay, it's unfair, not fair. No es justo, she never believes him. Um, the teacher think Matt is, Matt, Matt, apostrophe is, Matt is, because he's always late. So he's, if he's always late, he is, he siempre es tarde, estás tarde, he is, ¿de qué palabra tenemos? Immoral, immoral. Any other word? No. Immoral, no. He would be irresponsible. De responsabilidad. Irresponsible. Porque el inmoral es hacer algo contra la moral. Irresponsible por tienes un error tiempo para hacer las cosas. Because he's always late. The teacher thinks that's number six. Matt, Matt, apostrophe, Matt is irresponsible because he's always late. Let's see the next one. Seven, when Matt records people, they're, mm -hmm. they're, okay, when he records people, he's recording people, he is, um, he takes maybe his phone, I don't know, he's recording what they're doing. So let's just scratch out the ones we've used. We've used unhealthy. We have used um, impatient. We have used unfair. We have used irresponsible, incapable, uh, unlikely. Okay. So people are that means when when they're doing something that you're not you can't say legal because he's not it doesn't say illegal wouldn't fit in because it says they're illegal that's he's doing no illogical mm -mm. irrelevant mm -mm. but unaware yes they're not conscious that he is recording Él está grabando. they're not conscious so they're unaware so number seven people are unaware that Matt is recording. So, 
the next sentence, what is Matt doing? He's recording people in the street. The next sentence says, listen to this one. Well, mm, wait, yeah. one was unhealthy, two was incapable, three doesn't get angry because she isn't impatient, the passenger she is unlikely, Matt thinks she's teacher is, the teacher thinks he's responsible, seven people are unaware, okay, and eight, Lucy thinks it's probably to record people without permission, you're doing something without permission, so that is Sin permiso would be, which one? Illegal or illogical? I would say it is illegal, illegal. It's illegal to record people without their permission. So here, the last one would be illegal. So these are the use of these words. What I would like you to do, if you're not, um, to write, to find the meaning of each word for your own use. And in our next class, that's tomorrow, you're going to write some sentences that are um, similar, same or similar for you, okay? using these words. So um, we'll see you tomorrow and we'll work on this.